I have to admit, Ben's refusing my offer to join the brewery had been on my mind non-stop the past few weeks. I'd offered the former brewer of this exact brewery, part ownership, and the creative freedom to brew beers, and he refused? Look, I didn't know Ben from anyone else on the street, and I can certainly understand the hesitation to get into business with someone who just moved to town. Fine, I understand that, but I thought my offer was fair, and I had to see if there was more to it. The salesman in me made me give Ben a call again. He was surprised to hear from me, and I guess he should have been. But if there was one thing that the city had taught me, it was to not take no for an answer, at least not the first time. So here I am, driving to Ben's house to pitch him one last time on joining the brewery. September Tears, Will Harrison on WHRD, Green Valley's home for modern country. Good morning, a little after 7.30 here on your Tuesday morning. And a quick note of caution here. Remember, there will be some road work out on County Route 45, just east of Rushville. They're repairing the road that got washed out in last month's storm. Now remember, it'll be slower driving conditions today for your drive out there, so be extra careful. Also, head over to Johnson's Farmer's Market in Rushville today to donate to their Rushville Helps Drive. Donating food for the local community in need. Always a good thing to do. Purchase some extra food at Johnson's today and they'll put it in the cart at the register to donate to the community. Now, back to the music on WHRD. Today is a big day in the short history of my self-employment out here in Green Valley. I'll have to wear many uniforms for this business, but... The one I have on today is for sure the one I like the least. This morning I'm going to have to be a salesman, and a good one at that if I want to talk Ben into joining me in this venture. Now, sure, yeah, he has previously told me no, and sure, yes, this officially makes me pushy, but this is my best shot, and I've invested way too much money, so I at least have to get him to tell me no twice. That's, that's the rule. And getting Ben over anyone else would mean that Brewery gets the man who helped make this a success back in, you know, a couple years ago anyway. It also means getting the guy everyone likes in town, and, and most importantly, the guy who makes beer that everyone in town likes. So it'd be a huge advantage and a big step towards getting the small staff that I'm going to need filled. It's the top position at the brewery, and it's something that I have to be very sure that I'm doing correctly. Anyway, here's his apartment, and I'm officially a little nervous. I don't know why, though. He's already told me no before, so I really got nothing to lose. I guess sales is for sure something I'm going to hire, because even at this level, I don't really like it. Anyway, here goes nothing. Look, Herd, it's not about you personally. I just don't think you know what you've bought. This brewery was the heartbeat of this community before it went under. People around here have high expectations, and I'm not sure if an outsider like you can meet them. No offense. I get it, Ben. This place has a rich history, and I'm not from around here. But I believe in the brewery potential, and I believe in you. You were a part of what made the brewery great, and I want you to be a part of its revival. It's not just about the beer herd. It's about the connection with the locals. They trusted the old owners, and now it's like an outsider has come in to take over. I'm afraid they're not going to accept you, and if they don't accept you, then they'll probably turn on me. Ben, that's where you come in. You're the missing link. You're well-liked, respected, you're known in this community, your face is familiar, and your beer is legendary around here. With you as the head brewer, the locals will see that I'm not here to change anything. I'm just here to build upon the legacy that's already been started. You really think they're going to accept you? I do. I do, and with you by my side, we can make this transition smoother. You already have their trust, and you know the ins and outs of the brewing process. We'll show them that this isn't about erasing the past, but creating a new and exciting chapter. It's a risk, Herd, for both of us. Life is full of risks, Ben, but this is a risk that's worth taking. We can bring this brewery back to life together, and you'll have a stake in it. Ownership. A percentage of the company. It, this, this isn't just a job. It's a partnership. It's a way of life. <sighs> All right, Herd. Let's do it. Let's bring this place back to life. 
Well, that went a lot better than expected. I'm really happy that Ben reconsidered. He brings up some good points about the community. That's for sure. You know, that's it's going to be a hurdle that we have to get over. They're timid. Everybody here is very timid with new business. And who really can blame them? I can't. I mean, these guys have seen dozens of companies either come in here and buy out their companies or just straight up move. And the brewery was a special place here for people. They still remembered it fondly. And I think with Ben coming back, it kind of makes that bridge a little easier. He was the brewer at the old brewery. He'll now be the brewery at the or the brewer at the new brewery that we're trying to start. So it kind of makes that transition just a little bit easier and kind of helps open the door to get people to come back to the brewery and give it a shot. Ben also brought the experience to actually brew the beer. He'd been in the business for a while now and he used to work under the old owners. So he's used this experience with working with the old owners to kind of learn a little bit. But truth be told, Ben is a natural. He was really put on this earth to brew beer and he definitely found his calling. If I'm being honest, I'm really lucky to have him as part of this. It's a major weight off my shoulders in a time where I am being pressured and pulled in all directions. Anyway, I'm driving up to Johnson's Farmer's Market in Rushville right now. I gotta get some Red Bull for the office, of course, and a few other things, but I also wanted to make a donation to the Rushville Carrots food drive that I heard on the radio this morning. Figured it's the least I can do, being new and all, and with people curiously looking at me in town, I guess it really couldn't hurt my image either. Anyway. Let me get in there and see if I could get some shopping done for me and for the community. Can I help you find something? Hey there. Yeah, uh, I'm just grabbing some groceries for the Rushville Helps food drive. Oh, yeah. You're the new owner of the brewery, right? What's the catch? No, no catch at all. Uh, I'm just trying to give back to the community, you know? I figured it's a good way to get involved. I'm new. Right. Because a few canned goods are really going to change the way people see you, right? Well, you got to start somewhere, right? Sure, sure. Eh, people are cautious around here, you know? New folks, especially those with big businesses. They aren't always the most popular here in Green Valley. Listen, I get it. I'm just here to be a part of the community. I'm not here to take it over. I thought the brewery looked like a better life than the one I was living in the city, and be honest, people are more honest out here. You know, they have more time for you. It's a slower pace, which is better for me, believe me. The city is chaotic, and I've had enough chaos. But anyway, here you go. This is for the food drive. All right, sir. Well, thanks for doing this. Maybe you're not all that bad after all. The name's heard, and I'm just a guy who loves a good community, and a good community needs a good grocery store, right? So thanks for helping out, and thanks for all that you guys do. Well, she was certainly honest, huh? Anyway, let's head up to the Rushville Farm Store, and it's only a few minutes up the way here. I want to talk to them guys about a couple things, really, uh, regarding the brewery, of course. The first was about a brush hog. Um, I'm hoping that they have one that I can buy for the brewery, to be honest. There's a lot of field there to mow, and if I want to make it look nice and I want to look, you know, make it look maintained and things like that, the first thing we have to do is maintain the yard. And I'm hoping that they'll be able to deliver me one to the farm today so that I can get this job done as soon as possible. Because I really do want to make the brewery look better. I think that people, if they drive by and they see that we're picking things up, I think that it's going to let them be a little bit more confident that the people that are taking this over don't just care about money. You know, they care about the community and they, they care that they want to make a good brewery, right? But anyway, the major thing I needed to talk to the farm store about was a barn. Um, the farm store in Rushville does contracting as well for farm buildings. And, you know, a major draw for me to buy this brewery in particular was because of the potential to farm all of this land that it sat on. So I want to go up here and I want to see what different type of options they have and see if it's something that they could do to help the brewery out. I figured I can spend a few hundred thousand on getting the farm portion up and the brewery up and running. You know, hop plants, uh, a field for wheat, maybe some greenhouses for the brewery's cafe. You know, a few hundred thousand seems like a lot of money when you say it out loud, but 
It's really not a lot of money in the agricultural space. I'm sadly finding that out. Anyway, let me get in here and talk to the guys about my options. See if this is even a realistic option. I'm hoping they can drop some plans for me and get the ball rolling on that. But hopefully, at very least, they have a brush hog that I can buy. Anyway, let me stop talking. Let me get in here. All right, so everything went well with the farm store. I sort of gave them a home run type of situation and put everything I wanted on the table and told them to give me a proposal on that. I told them also that based on cost, I may take some of the stuff away. But as for now, I'm getting quoted on the entire project because I need to at least see what the home run price is. Now, I was told that they'd need a few days, which I suspected, but those few days are going to feel like a lifetime to me. You know, they're basically telling me what I can and cannot afford to do with this business. And man, stressful times, stressful times. Anyway, now for the fun part of my day, and believe me, I say that very sarcastically. I get to do some paperwork and look over a few more resumes, and actually, now that I'm thinking of it, maybe you can help me out. I have two resumes turned in for the farmhand position, and the position basically calls for someone every day to help me with the farm portion of the brewery, you know, give me tips and things like that as they see fit. So I need somebody with some experience. Um, I suspect that I'm probably going to be pulled in all different directions running this brewery. So getting someone to make sure that their main focus is the farm every day and it's taken care of on a daily basis is obviously really important to me and important to the brewery. So anyway, let me get into the office. I'm going to get the resumes out and I will go over them with you. Help me decide here who gets this job. All right, now I've got the applications out and I purposely omitted their gender. Um, it's going to be an age decision, really. Uh, applicant one here will bring up brings decades of farming and brewery related work experience, well versed in traditional methods of agriculture, has an in-depth understanding of entire brewing process. So that's good. They have experience, the reliability uh, long career, they're known for their reliability, um, accustomed to hard work, long hours, good. Now, the weaknesses are what we're going to have to pay attention to. The wealth of experience may sometimes translate into resistance of adopting new new practices, new things that we come up with, technology, things like that. So, And, of course, you got the physical limitations of the, the age. So we're really looking at very experienced, will be able to help us with a lot of things, but physical limitations are going to be limited. Now, let's get the second one out here. Now, the second person is younger, uh, brings a fresh, youthful perspective to the role, having recently completed studies in college uh, and with brewing technology. So they are up to date with the latest trends and innovations in the brewing industry, which is good. The adaptability, of course, is going to be a little bit easier because they are more tech savvy, uh, quicker to adapt to new technology, the enthusiasm to learn because they've just gotten out of college. So that is good. Uh, they don't know as much as applicant one, but they may have a fresher perspective on the farming or the brewing industry. And they do have a little bit of experience at both, or at least a little bit of education at both. And of course, the risk of burnout is real. Um, they might take on too much, but at the same time, that might be what they want to do. I mean, that's something that we have to think about. So those are the two. Please leave in the comments uh, who I should be hiring here, and then we can... Hey there, I'm from the Rushville Farm Store. I got your brush hog outside here on the truck. You want to get it off, or do you want me to? Oh, no, I got it. I can get it off. Uh, how was the drive down? Oh, everything went well. It's not that long of a drive. I gotta say, I haven't delivered this brewery in a while. You gonna be opening soon? Soon? Uh, no, afraid not. I still got a lot of work to do towards cleaning this place up, but once all that nonsense is worked out, then yeah, we'll be opening again. I have the old brewer, Ben, who's coming back to brew again. Really? That's great. I did like the beer here the last time that I was here. Well, when we finally are able to open, you should come on up and try some. 
like I said, Ben's here. That's what made the brewery tick the last time. So we'll have the same style beer. Absolutely, man. Excited for it. Well, all right. You did ask me if I want to get this off, and I did say yes. So let me see if I can get this thing off without breaking it. But, hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate everything. All right, you got it. Best of luck, Herd. All right, well, here goes nothing. Let's hop in the Ford. Guess I'm going to have to try to drive this tractor at some point. Might as well be right now. Although I do say it would have been a lot easier to have him do it. We're not going to learn that way. Let's see if I can get out. And yeah, a little bit. There we go. First turn out of here. Not looking so good, but let's try to back this up here. And I am going to then try to figure out how to hook up this brush hog. I know there's a PTO shaft there that we have to figure out. Well, let's just not go off of the trailer. That's the only real request that I have at this point. And let's not knock this off either. All right. Unstrap everything here. Now, you know what? Let me go over to the other side. Hop over there. Now, yep, that's figured out. Now we just got the PTO. There we go. All right, I think we're hooked up. Let's climb here in the tractor. I think this is already up. It is up. And we are down. Perfect. Well, okay. Not perfect, but it's very doable. And at this stage in my farming career, I have to say that that is something that I'm willing to live with. All right. Now back in the tractor, and we are going to mow the front of this yard only right now. I will probably get to the back of it because... As you can see, it needs it. There are a lot of weeds in this field. Uh, this field hasn't been touched in years. A uh, couple years. I think it's about five years now. Uh, the brewery last went out about six years ago. And I know that they leased it one year. And that was it. And it was just a hay field. But now this is just a bunch of weeds that we got to get out of here. Because it, it does not look good. It's not a great presentation, and for me, I definitely just want to get the front of this mode up so that at least it looks good. Let's see if we can figure this brush hog out. All right, and it appears to be working. Excellent news. Now, we've got a big front yard here. And like I said, it's just the presentation. We're not ready to open up yet. That is a lot of work away. But with the community that is questioning me currently, I think uh, the right thing to do is make this place good, have some good curb appeal. And at least for people driving by, they're going to at least be able to see that we're going to take care of this place. It's not going to be a shanty. It's going to be somewhere they can come enjoy and celebrate the times in their lives and have some really good beer because Ben's on board and that's something that I really think is the most important part of today I think that that makes this day a successful day because we've now got the guy who used to brew beer here everybody loves the beer we've also got a community guy who has trusted me which I cannot thank him enough for and uh you know, to have him on board is something that really helps this brewery succeed. And I think our mutual skills will match very well. I'm hoping that there's obviously going to be a bright future. Now, let me look out here for a minute. I just want to look at the grass here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of grass. It'd be nice if we could get a farmer to come up here and get it for us. Use it for bedding, I guess, but... Hey, let me climb back in. Let me finish this job. Man, I always had stories about the 
the city lot and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, bread race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name. My friends are still the same. Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that Simple.